Hello and welcome back to Direct Strike Commanders, and today we're playing the the special operations commander here on the Terran side. We are playing as Nova. Nova's a rather aggressive kind of commander. Uh, basically, they have this one hero unit. It is it is Nova. It's so pretty. And the gimmick for this particular hero or this particular commander is that all of our things are uh, s like spec ops grade, like super upgraded. So things like our uh, oh, we even get cheaper upgrades. So infantry weapons, it's and armor, which is usually more than a hundred hundred resources or hundred minerals, is uh is real cheap for us. So we'll be able to utilize that. So we'll get to see all these nice high powered Terran units. So we don't have like super hero units like Tychus. They're just a bit more powerful than normal. In fact, let me go ahead and start upgrading the tier two so we can get some more of the more of the toys out there. Though um we can do a pretty strong push for tier one here, especially with just Marine Marauder. I mean when you have Marines that you dump hundred and ten minerals into, they can get they can get kinda beefy. And if if nothing else I can cancel this this tech too based on what I see my opponent doing. But honestly, just something like Marauder Spam is really good. So it looks like we're up against, what is that, a Carex? Yes, we're up against Carex. So we're going to want to get that tech to pretty quickly here and then get go into the, uh, what are what are they called? The uh, the Hellbat Rangers, the, the super-powered Hellbats, because these guys work really well versus light infantry, like uh, like those Zealots. No, no. They'll handle our front line quite nicely. In fact, let me go ahead and put them here. Now, these guys are expensive. They're 300 each. But for their price, they come with 550 HP, which is kind of a lot of HP. And they do 45 damage per shot in a, an actual AoE cone of damage and pain and fire. So that's uh, the, these two will be more than enough to clean up those few zealots we see. Let's see, we have some legionnaires here. So that's going to be the phoenix. So that's a uh, we should be able to help clean all of this up and then jump it to the next jump it to the next wave pretty quickly Nova. yes Nova does have one special ability that is the snipe it acts very much so like a snipe but it's not a uh, not required that it be used on biological targets it just picks a target and deals flat 200 damage it which is nice and you see look the Hellbat Rangers cleared up all those zealots nice and quick even if we didn't even lose half of the total effective HP on on our units here so we're pushing quite well into the next wave. All right, I'm actually going to get one more of these just to make sure that we stay on top of that wave and then get the upgrade for it. Uh, specifically, I want Jump Jet Assault, which gives the Hellbat Ranger gains the ability to leap toward enemy ground units, stunning enemy units on impact and briefly gains plus four armor. Also got to upgrade our Nova with plus uh, regeneration. That's just going to be constant regeneration on our hero unit in particular. Not that I expect Nova to be taking a lot of hits. Uh, the next upgrade we're going to get for this is the Internal Pre-Igniter, which is... Uh, or Infernal Pre-Igniter, which is the same upgrade from the regular game, just basically more more damage versus lights, such as those zealots. They now hit for 62 damage per shot in an AoE cone of death and flame and, and destruction. And, oh, Zagara just accidentally wiped out all those zealots, uh, but he did just get the upgrade this time around too, such that they make them respawn. But, you know, AoE can burn them all down really quickly. So now we're just going to just push forward and start to cleave through some of their defenses. But honestly, I don't suspect we have any hope of actually destroying their photon cannon. So, eh, you know, at least we're winning the wave, which means we can gas up and get further ahead. If they're going to if they're going to get wrecked by us so hard, then we can we can just start getting more resources. So it looks like my uh, what is the purifier tempest is the Karax hero. Artanis, Artanis, he's gone straight for tier 3 with the Purifier Tempest, which is a pretty powerful strategy. Um, kind of surprised we've managed to hold the mid as, as much as we have, considering he's he's gone for such a heavy rush. Uh, if he could spam those out nicely, we should be able to, to come back from this. Uh, looks like we're going to have to deal with this ourselves, so uh, maybe gassing up wasn't the, wasn't the uh, best option. Because it looks like we're, our teammates are getting kind of wrecked here. Fortunately, we're here to save the day. Yeah, let's just save all that. Now, wait, I'm going to do this here, uh, this other ability out of out of Nova, though it's not really necessary. It turns it into uh, Assault Mode, which gives her a shotgun. Basically turns her into a Hellbat, which is quite nice. Though, um, I, I'm convinced she works better as a, as, a, as a sniper. Just that ability for the extra 200 damage. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's not great. Nova, Nova's really a sniper. That's, that's what we need her to be. 
So it looks like I need to start actually working on a different set of units. Or just more rangers and completely hard counter them. Oh dear. Uh, no idea what that is about. I'll have to... I'll have to check onto that later. Let us see... What's the next... Next unit I want to be moving into? If it looks like I gotta be cleaning up... Uh, am I gonna be cleaning up both the Carex wave? I'm sorry, the Phoenix wave and the, uh... Oop, they've got a detector. Oh no, that's just a that's just a detector. So I can up get this upgrade, and suddenly Nova can also see invisible units. I don't really need to get it right now because it's just an observer they have. Yeah, our ta our front line is so tanky. Annihilators have bonus versus armored. We aren't armored. These are light units, so we just kind of just kind of wreck them. But it looks like we're actually getting delayed enough that we're pushing into these infested bunkers. The yeah, the, uh, what's what is his name? What is his name? Why can't I remember his name? Stukov! Stukov wave! And for that, we're going to want something that is anti-armored, such as these Marauder Commandos. Ooh, let's see, let's go ahead and move these guys up. One? That's up, let's move them up. No, 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 we want the, we want the Commandos in front, because the jump... The jetpacks on the, uh... On these Hellbat Rangers will... We'll have them jump in front of our commander, our Marauders. Get the couple upgrades on this. Now, this is the really important one. Marauder Commandos gain an additional weapon that deals 90 damage to their target every 20 seconds. It's literally just like an alpha strike of just wipe everything out in front of them, or at least a single target, which is really nice. Basically gives them a, um, a snipe ability. These uh, Mirages are going to cause some pain for us, though. If they get enough of them, they can lift enough of our Hellbats that we're not going to have that much of a front line anymore. And because our units are so expensive, I have no chance of, well, of building more Hellbats than they can lift. So that's really, really very unfortunate. Let us see, where is... Hmm, there's more Marauders for the ground to clear the ground out. Now, I do want to build them in some kind of a formation like this, because they will all overkill using this railgun. If I build them in a line, they'll all hit the same unit, like all five of these Marauders will shoot it at a single Legionnaire. Meaning that most of the shots are going to be left, left unused. I, I need to start doing something about this, about this Phoenix wave. For that, I think I'm going to need more anti-air. And the Phoenix wave, we're, we're cleaning that up without too much of an issue. But I, I, I okay, let me get some. Is this going well? This is not going well, is it? No, no, this is this is not going well at all. They're lifting all of my hellbats into the sky. Okay. I need some some of these strike goliaths. You go back here and have them start clearing out aircraft things. So I'll get this to make sure that they t focus down the anti-air. That just gives them plus three anti-air weapon range. That way, when the uh, mirages come in, they can get shot out of the sky eventually. And next up, I, I do want to get to tier three, but I'm questioning if I should get some of these upgrades first. Let me go ahead and get the vehicle upgrades. That way my, my Hellbats have an opportunity to survive being lifted. Oh yeah, Zagara is really not able to handle these Legionnaires at all. Like, look at this Cal Dallas. He's got seven kills and is still alive. All right. Fortunately, we have these Marauders coming in to expend the railgun munitions and just one-shot him. Isn't that nice? There we go. They let the Hellbat Rangers go in, do some tanking for us. Looks like the Strike Goliath... Ah, there we go. Please shoot down the aircraft. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Shoot him down. Yes! Once we get another upgrade for them, they will eventually shoot Lockdown Missiles, which stun enemy mechanical air units, which is really powerful. Once, Because once they start getting hit, they will never stop getting hit until something intervenes. Which is uh, it's kind of kind of kind of really good. Which is really what we want here out of Tech Three. And now that we have those all unlocked, my question now is: Do I want to get more Hellbat Rangers or Tech up to Tech Level Three for the better better things? I think the answer is just a beefier front line right now. Get more HP, more units on the field, and make sure that we permanently hold this middle, or at least hold it more consistently. We still have units alive here, which is kind of nice. The Strike Glass are helping out. One of them had five. Get six kills, the other one just got burned down by their commander ability, the purifier beam. No. Alright. Fortunately now we only have these guys to deal with. Go on, Mirages. Ugh. They're gonna they're gonna sit there a while dealing with that. So very close. Hopefully 
we, these guys, Magrails, will come up. Oh no, another five seconds. Oh, but they're going to be alive for those five seconds. So suddenly, this wave is just going to lose a lot of HP. Yes. Goodbye, infest. Mo well, half of the infested monkers. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. Let's go ahead and get one more of these, and then start the tech up to tech level three. Now my real question is, do I want? To okay, I definitely think this game is going for another another ten minutes. So I'm gonna get the refinery first, and then the tier three upgrade. That way we can we can have all the monies in the world. And then proceed to get our super units, or at least the super upgrades who are otherwise powerful units. It's so nice to watch all those sentinels get burned down so quickly. Uh, and, well, they, they come back, but, you know. It's nice to watch them go away and hope that they're gone. Another thing that could help me out here is getting some ghosts, because ghosts work pretty well versus mirages, only because mirages are light units. Uh-oh. I didn't think about that. The uh, lift into the infested liberator combo is quite, quite powered. Oh dear. Nova, carry us all to victory. Oh, never mind. Archons are here. They will, they will do all the work that nobody else could. Ooh. Oh, this is here now. That just spawned in, and it's starting to do a lot of work. Okay. Well, that's going to be a rough one. Let's see. Where will our purifier tempus come in for the clutch here? I don't think so. There's far too many scouts in the air. Yeah, these scouts will clear out all of our Tempests. Let's get some more upgrades on these. Hey, we finally got it. Zagara coming in with the Banelings, just crashing on through. That's actually a super powerful strategy, guys. Just using the Banelings to uh, just crash through the front. Like, they have to have so much stuff. This is one of their workers. This is one of our workers, actually. The uh, Zagara players here at uh, Builder Unit. Quite, a, quite interesting reskin. There we go. Now we got ship and vehicle weapons level 3, so our Hellbat Rangers are hitting for 71 now, which is kind of powerful. I uh, also need to get this Hollow Decoy, only because it has 1000 HP, which is super good for tanking. Like, all of these things that would normally just shoot the rest of our dudes will end up shooting the Hollow Decoy, and the Hollow Decoy just doesn't die, because it has 1000 HP. It also has a lightsaber that is 100 damage per hit, but eh, you know, whatever. Alright, so these purifier tempers are just getting shredded by their, uh, their scouts. Like, really hard. We need to, need to do something about that one. They have so many mirages. Uh, okay. So, my, count, my air superiority fighter is actually the, the raid liberator, which is not an air superiority fighter. It just has, tech. very technically, it has air splash. So if I get, like, six of them, then I can start burning down some aircraft. Unfortunately, they cost 500 each, and do not stand at all to the infested liberators, which are basically the same thing, but more specialized to the air. Um, hmm. That's going to be a rough one. All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy in here. So would ghosts answer my, qu answer my problems? And I think the answer is... Probably, or at least it would help. Because we're facing off a lot of Protoss, for the EMP would work well. A lot of their units are light units, at least the Mirages are, so the Ghosts would work well against them. And because my Ghosts are cloaked, then, uh, well, we're gonna, gonna be immune to a lot of the a lot of the shenanigans from the Mirages, because the Mirages are dislocated. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get those lockdown missiles for our Goliaths, get one more Goliath. And are we actually gonna win here? Zagara is sitting on it with its with his friends. Oh, oh, I think we got it. Hey, we pushed just hard enough. All right, well, that is a good one, and I think that's going to be a pretty short one. So let's go ahead and get a round two mixed in here. And we're off to round two. Looks like we're spawning in the third position, so let's get going. I'll go ahead and put my Nova down first, just because it's a really powerful unit and kind of... Kind of solves a lot of problems. Yes, I know, putting down the Nova first allows allows them to start formulating a plan as to what I'm going to what they're going to need to counter me, but uh well I, I kinda like being the aggressor. Uh is that true? I think almost all of my gameplay so far has been the counterattacker, and Nova works really well for that. But uh, it's just such an easy tool for contesting the middle and clearing everything out, like 
I can't say no to it. So it looks like we're up against an Artenis in their top position. Let's see, who do we have here? We have a Rainer, we have a Nova. So we got two Novas on the team. Looks like one of the Novas is going for the Elite Marine. Get to see those in action. We're up against some Primal Zerglings, so it's... Ooh, I guess a Dahaka. Nova versus Dahaka. Ooh, that's going to be an interesting matchup. Apparently, Primal Zerglings with their 90 HP is more than enough to handle uh, but, uh, four of our elite, elite Marines, which is quite concerning. Let's see, what am I facing off against here? Start working on tech level 2. You know, just in case. Facing off against a Phoenix. Alright, I could deal with that. I gotta, I gotta need some ghosts. Gonna need some, uh, well, also some Hellbat Rangers. Fortunately, we're already working on tech level 2, so we'll be, we'll be good. Now, they do own the middle at the moment, but we can, we can change that pretty quickly here now that we know what we're against. And they've invested in a fair amount of, well, easily destructible ground light units. At least all three of them have. So my Hellbat Rangers are going to get some, some really good, really good work out of this. Where's their Dahaka? There it is. Now those Ravasaurs might cause a problem because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cleaning up Ravasaurs, and then pushing into some Zealots. So two Hellbat Rangers. And I get the jetpack. Not sure if I just get this. Get that in time. There we go. Cleaning up Ravasaurs, pushing into Zealots. There we go. And just gonna get the jump off. Oh. Oh no. No, that's not gonna work. They didn't jump! I was kinda hoping they would jump in place and get some work done, but nope. Okay, then we're gonna need more rangers. These things are expensive. These things are really expensive. Would shotgun have been a better idea here? I think shotgun might have been a better idea there, just for the AoE damage. You know what? I'll, I'll have her change in the middle of the match. Let her get off one snipe and then whip out the shotgun for extra damage. What is their top player doing? Other than getting completely wrecked. Oh well. One more Hellbat Ranger should significantly help out the bunch here. Uh, please kill the Dahaka. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh, this is not going to be good. You. Fill with things. It doesn't have any Marines in it. Thank you. Good work. Good work, you. Right, you did the snipe. You did. Alright, please clear out. Bring out the shotgun, please. Do it. Yes. Shotgun! Alright. Now, Immortals are uh, not so good versus unarmored units. Uh, Hellbat Rangers are not armored, thankfully. Oh dear. Come on. Come on, Nova. Yes! Got him! Okay. Oh, they sold off their Zell- Oh, oh. Bring down that Tempest. Oh dear. So we're going to have to keep in mind that they have Tempest. Tempest, great units for stacking up. Let's see. Snipe it. Yes, yeah, snipe the Dahaka. It's regening a lot of health. Let's get another Hellbat Ranger. Because he's building things that the Hellbat Rangers are strong against. So, I mean, if he's going to walk into my counter, might as well get a beefy front line of him and just walk over him. I'm going to need to build a front line anyways. If he's going to make my life easy, then so be it. Now, my question is, can I deal with the other waves while I'm at it? And I'm not sure the answer to that is yes. Now, these Adepts are going to cause a problem. So I deal 22 damage per light. They, oh, they have bonus damage versus light. And just like that, my Hellbats are falling. Falling much, much quicker. You know, this one we do want to keep in sniper mode. Because that, uh, that sudden 200 damage spike works pretty well versus these guys. You know what? Ghosts. Ghosts with EMP will significantly help us. Let's go ahead and get that EMP, as well as the reactor upgrade for the constant regeneration. Looks like we're owning middle a quite well here, except for maybe doing this Dahaka wave, and I, but this game is going to last a while, so let's go ahead and get this refined. We're, we're holding middle enough, I think, for me to invest into another, another gas. At least now that we have AoE. Okay, so another thing we have to deal with is these Mutalisks. I think Snipes is the good proper response to them. Because we're going to be cleaning them up, apparently. Okay. I'll clean up the Zerg real quick and march on. Now, fortunately, while Adepts are 
strong versus us and have bonus damage versus us. We also have bonus damage versus them. Do they have an invisible unit there? No, I thought that I thought I saw the shimmer there for a moment, and then I didn't, and then I was worried. So now I, I just got the upgrade for Nova to become a detector. Hmm. That's kind of a lot of purifier tempest. Oh, good, Vikings. That's right, they're up against the the Rainer wave, and Vikings are like the ultimate air superiority just because they have splash. Nope, nope. Get into the air. Get out. There you go. These primal mutilists are actually also extremely strong. Uh, let's... My wave is coming up. I can't get another ghost down, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the triple tap, which causes them to throw off uh, uh, additional snipes, like three snipes at once, which is kind of very strong. So just in case a couple of these primal mutilists are gonna survive, which apparently is, they're just gonna get sniped into oblivion. Like that. Goodbye, mutilists. Now, that only does work against biological, so they won't, won't help versus all of these mechanical protoss android robot recreations, but you know. It, it's nice to have anyways. Hey, they don't have any detection at all, so I, this ghost is just going to sit here and just start chipping away at things. But I think I need to start working on helping out the Phoenix, the Rainer player with his with dealing with these Purifier Tempests. Unless these Vikings are going to do it. That should be enough Vikings, right? <laughs> that ghost is still alive. Oh, that's definitely enough Vikings. Okay, then. One more ghost out of me. And then what would be the appropriate solution? Mm, might need more. Might need more ghosts here. We're just upgrades. Let's get some armor upgrade. Let's just get level one everything to help out. Give the ghosts some extra damage. Does Nova get upgrades from this? I don't think so. No, she doesn't. So this is just for my ghosts. But I think the next option is to go for some marauders for that extra. Extra one-time Alpha Strike Railgun damage. Just to help burn down some of the units at the beginning. Oh, we're pushing into these Tempests, though. Come on. I need... Okay. The answer is... The answer is Strike Goliaths. Like, I can't... I can't not build Strike Goliaths. They're far too powerful. Get the extra range to help at least... At least help out with the... Uh, the range on the Tempest. Right. Burn down the Tempest. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. All right. well, as long as the Tempest aren't surviving, then it'll be all right. But I am going to need tech level three. Oh, oh, okay, so I was about to say I'm going to need tech level three so I can get the upgrade for the Strike Goliaths. I have one Strike Goliath. I don't need to invest another 600 minerals on the upgrade just for this one guy. Let me get more first. There we go. Priorities. Make sure to make sure to always keep your priorities in mind. What are these guys doing? Yeah, they're throwing out the EMPs, which is good. EMP on high archons, super good. Or just snipe it into oblivion. That works too. There we go. All right. Another strike, Goliath. I like Goliaths. Goliaths make me happy. Then again, I like pretty much any kind of mech. If it's a mech and it stomps around, then it makes me happy. Ooh. Oh, did he change some of his some of his dudes into some of his, uh, what are they called, mutilisks into guardians? No, that's an Abathur thing. I don't think the, uh, I don't think they have, I don't think Dehaka has the morph ability. Or does he? I'm not sure. In any case, guardians, an okay, an okay choice versus us. Right, let's start cleaning up this wave. Uh, that phoenix is going to change the tides a little bit, I think. Nope, Hellbat Rangers, still very strong. Still just walking across. All right, so we did clear that up. And now we're helping to clear up these Tempests. Although, these are the ones that survived from a long time ago. We need more. We need more of a lot of things, guys. Let's do this and this. And what is next that we need? We really could help be helped with some marauders here. Yeah, we're not taking these guys out. It's not enough. That's not good. And our Nova doesn't have our other Nova player, the one before me, doesn't have a whole lot of anti-air. And is getting is not able to clear up these tempests. Oh dear. We're getting stacked on. We're getting stacked on hard. That's uh 
I see things are falling apart, guys. I don't think I've helped out enough on doing the stack. I just love those snipes. Just the massive amounts of snipes. It sounds so beautiful. Come on, get the e oh, we did get the EMPs off on all of the Tempest. That's nice. Yeah, and now our front line is falling. Okay, things are things are falling apart here quite quickly. Let's see. I need more front line, and I need upgrades. Let's get the upgrades for every. Uh, let's not get infantry ups because we don't have infantry right now, which is a problem. We need infantry. If only they didn't cost 190 per. Is it worth? Investing in them though, right now. Is it the appropriate solution or is getting lockdown missiles the better option? We don't have the money for both. Hmm. I'm curious. You know what? Let's go with the glass and win us the game. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking here. Because uh, they work really well versus the Tempest, but I can't keep them alive versus this line. Okay, we need, we just need more front line right now. Uh, specifically, something to deal with their Phoenix. Okay, so the answer is going to be our our Marauders. We need them. Okay, so for that, let's put our Marauders in front. Start working on them. They are so expensive, guys. I've already got infantry level. Upgrades 1-1 one, one for them. Which is nice. Very nice. I'm still sitting on 2 gas economy. Eek. It's at a 12 minute mark. This takes 10 minutes. You know what? It might just... Might just be okay. Oh, they've got so much stack though. I don't think I can afford... I don't think we're going to last 10 minutes if I spend 300 minerals. Oh no. Okay, we, we have to spawn. Let's get these upgrades. Still got a couple in here. There we go. Unlock that. Pump your 180 damage into something on the ground. The liars are doing work. Hey, at least they're blowing away all the Tempests. From, you know, three waves ago. Which is something. All of the destruction. You know, these Vikings... They're doing pretty well. Now we're starting... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Yep, that's a lot of... Our Vikings landed and got immediately obliterated, and now we don't have them for the uh, Tempests. At least we don't have that mass of them we had a moment ago. It looks like... It looks like there's enough Goliaths. Huh. Neat. All right, well, that'll do it. We've cleared out the skies. Okay, so good work. Now we just got to make sure to clear out the ground with more... Or are these guys with their beautifully destructive railgun? Let's burn him down. The snipes and railguns come out. Much better. Let's get another one. I, I should probably just get a, a critical mass of these guys, but I think I can afford to get a refinery right now, because we're not going to die. At least I think I think we can break their critical mass. I think. Oh dear, they have impalers back there. And we can't get to them because they still have frontline units. Alright, there we go. Vikings, save us! Good good work, Vikings. Alright, so we don't have that nice nice front line as we did in the previous wave. However, I think we have enough Vikings that it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yep, Vikings are just gonna clear everything out. Very good. Alright, and then I'll upgrade to tech level three and immediately get these lockdown rockets. I think is the the answer to help curb a lot of those uh, a lot of those those ranged artillery monstrosities. Does this not have things in it? It doesn't have things in it. You fill with fill with things. I'm gonna pull these guys back. There we go. It's a bunker that doesn't have things in it. Put things in it. It doesn't shoot unless you put things in it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, good. And we're pushing across the way. Hey, look, Marauders are a good call. They're actually pushing and living and doing damage all the way across. Neat. So once you hit tech level three, then Nova will immediately become permanently cloaked, which is nice. So let's give us access to some of these other 
better things. Like, specifically the lockdown rockets, please make these Tempests stop shooting at us, even if it's a short time. Just permanent, permanently stun lock them into oblivion. That'd be beautiful. Oh, Tyrannosaur. Those giant Zerg creatures are so much fun. They're so good! They're so very powerful. Yeah, things like uh, these guys, Colossi, the carriers, can all be stun locked into oblivion. <laughs> Literally forever. And see if the uh, yeah, and this guy is stunned, and he will get stunned again before his his stun timer will get reset before he gets an opportunity to to be removed from the stun timer. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get our hollow decoy just for tanking reasons. That should help our hellbat rangers. A hollow decoy also has a dash attack ability, so it jumps in front of all of our dudes. Like these guys, yeah, the, the commanders are, commanders are tanky, but I have them in front here so that the they can get off their shot and then be protected by the, the jump jet assaults of the Hellbot Rangers. So that these guys fall back to second line once the once the Rangers get in, well, range. Let's go ahead and get a couple more of these guys, actually. Am I gonna get it before? No! I didn't, I didn't get it down before the, uh, didn't have enough minerals to get it down before the next wave spawned. And they're stacking! Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna need gonna need that uh, Viking we have to come in again with that air splash but I think with those EMPs okay their Phoenix is not being burned down nearly fast enough so it's happening here we need to have many oh the Hyperion has arrived ladies and gentlemen that should really help us out here at least in terms of the wave stacking that way they stacked waves we can stack waves too actually so one of the counters to that period is mass, mass purifier tempest. Um, I'm sure you guys can figure out why. But I think, I think with all these goliaths coming in to match against the purifier tempest, we, would, we should be able to clean that wave up. Maybe. Oh, this is kind of concerning, actually. Right, let's get some more marauders down. There we go. If we can burn down their front line of the Phoenix player. Uh oh. Goliaths, we're locking them down, but oh dear. They've still got so many of them. We're losing the ground and the air fight. No! Alright, guys. Need more glass. I can't keep the Goliaths alive if I don't have any ground forces. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter because this round is over. So for now, I'll see you guys later.